One year ago, thousands of Northern Californians were fleeing the Camp Fire, a huge wildfire that killed 85 people, destroyed 95 percent of the town of Paradise, and burned more than 150,000 acres. We begin to heal. Yesterday, residents and officials marked the anniversary with a small ceremony and 85 seconds of silence, one for each victim of the fire, in a town that is still struggling to recover. San Francisco Chronicle reporter Lizzie Johnson joins us now from Paradise, California. So Lizzie, I understand that you've been actually living part-time in Paradise for the last year, doing your reporting. Tell us, what's it like there now, one year later? The big emphasis is on rebuilding. So when you drive around town, it's not just burnt down lots and homes and buildings, it's a blank slate. It's driving past, you know, what looks like entire fields of empty dirt. Do we have a sense of how many people are planning to return? So there's no exact data, but the town manager did say that the town of Paradise has received about 500 rebuilding permits since last year. So that's the best estimate they have. And since last November, 15 houses have been rebuilt. And keep in mind that that is 14,000 that were burned down. What are the people who are staying or returning? What are they saying? I mean, how are they feeling? It's hard. At the ceremony yesterday, officials were talking about how the amount of debris in Paradise after the campfire was two and a half times what came down in New York City after the 9-11 attacks. So the fact that they've gotten rid of most of the debris and have a place to rebuild. So I think a lot of people that I've talked with, they're frustrated by how long it takes and they just want to get back to their old life. I wanted to ask about whether they're rebuilding in a different way in order to ensure that buildings and houses are built maybe in a more safe place. So when it comes to building, the town has made some pretty major changes. Things like having the siding raised off the ground so that if a fire creeps up, it doesn't automatically lick up the wall. Mobile homes have to have been built within the last 10 years. At the time of the campfire, most homes were about 30 years old. So very flammable. Um, you know, one house caught on fire and that caused the entire block to catch on fire. You talked about frustration over how long things are taking. I mean, what kind of help and aid is the town getting from the state and federal government? There have been a lot of grants that have come in from FEMA, from the state, um, from the North Valley Community Foundation, grants to help people rebuild, to get loans to rebuild. But in the wake of a disaster like this, the need is just massive. All right, Lizzie Johnson of the San Francisco Chronicle, thank you so much. Thank you.